Hello, welcome to another LiveWire component demo. In this demonstration, I will take you over comment section using Laravel LiveWire. So I have built this basic comment section which displays comments on any of your model and you have an option to add a comment. So if you put your comment here and click on post, it will add your comment to the top of the list. So this is the one version of it and I have another version which is comment pro which is basically the same version and with some extra features like you can choose to reply to a comment so if you click on the reply it will open a reply box and you can type your reply in this box and post the reply so it will come in here this also has an ability to delete your comments so if i click on the delete button it gives me a confirmation box and if i confirm it it removes my comment and same as the previous one you can add a new comment in this one as well so i will take you through the implementation first things first i have used this package laravel comment to create a basic table for the comment and um, how it goes is in your code you set up the user model and use the can comment trait and i have overrided the comment class to extend the actually map laravel comment model so this is a simple thing that you have to do just install the package migrate to install the new table and get ready with your models once you are ready with this thing this is my comment liveware component and this is the blade file so basic architecture is pretty simple we get the comments from the database pass it onto the view and display loop over it and display it on the web page for posting the comment i have this section which is basically i have wire modeled new comment property which is here on the text area and whenever user clicks on the post it invokes post comment function which basically checks if the user is authenticated if not it returns then we validate the input which is basically we want to check if um, it is minimum six characters and it should be required it should not be blank once that is done we invoke the comment function which is provided by the library and pass in the model which is the model we call when invoking the component and add the comment to the model we reset the field and we refresh the model so that we should be able to view the comment as soon as user clicks on the post button this is the basic version and for the comment pro which is which has the ability to delete and reply for the reply what we do basically is when user clicks on the reply button we call the select comment to reply and we set the reply to model to the to the comment which user wants to reply to once that is done when user types in the comment we call the reply comment method which is basically mostly same as the post comment to delete we first show the confirm box for that we call the set delete id so once user clicks on the set uh, delete button we call the set delete which basically sets the delete id to the id which user wants to delete and then we show the dialog box using bootstrap and once user clicks on the confirm we call this function which basically authorizes if the user is actually user should be actually able to delete the comment and if yes we delete the comment and set the delete id to null 
pretty basic um, you can check out this model at uh, website livewiredemos.com the basic version is free and the code is available and the demonstration of comment pro is also available to check out at this url i'll post the urls of both the models in the description below i hope you liked it if you liked it uh, please subscribe to this channel hit the like button thank you